so we're still getting ready for uh, swarm season we are reusing our swarm traps that we built last year and we actually put up we put up 15 swarm traps last year and we caught six swarms um, and of those six swarms we still have two colonies so we're, we're doing pretty good for beginners I think um, but this is the slow release tube that we put the lemongrass essential oil in and it releases the oil over a long period of time. I think it's supposed to work for like three months. Uh, but Roy put some staples in our uh, swarm traps and there's one there and there's one on this side. So you can still see the propolis that we used last year to help scent the box so that it wouldn't smell so much like new lumber. It was kind of smell like bees. And uh, this is one of our frames that has just a starter strip on it. But again, this year, since we did have some uh, bees last year that established colonies, we have some actual drawn comb that we can use in our swarm traps this year to help the box smell like bees. So we're going to put one of those in each box. And you can actually see over here, uh, after this colony died out, where the uh, other bees robbed out the honey and that were uh, was stored there. So this is a little bit longer starter strip. I think that's what about four inches maybe. So we're just trying to give the bees resources to start setting up housekeeping. Once they're attracted to our box, hopefully by it smelling like bees. When bees swarm, they come fully prepared to make comb and to start up uh, a new colony. So by having some comb in there, it gives the queen a place to start laying right to start with. Also, the starter strips. I've watched a couple of YouTube guys and Skinny Bee Man has done experiments and he says that the short starter strips do better than the long starter strips um i don't know we had good luck last year with about a three inch strip in each box and then all the rest of it at the one inch mm -hmm. so i'm thinking this year we should have a better chance since we do have comb and we every, everything smells like uh a beehive yeah since bees were in the box there's some ex you know new propolis in there from last year uh where the where the ones that caught swarms they propolized some stuff so we're hoping this is going to be a good swarm season for us we'll see fingers crossed So we got a short starter strip and a little over three inch starter strip and then a comb. Some used comb from last year. And all the rest of them got the short starter strips on them. Oh wait, pull that back out. The lid came off this vial. I'll put it in, sorry. see the lid off that'll be poured all in the car we want to make our swarm trap 
smell like home to the bees. I'll cut that one out. Mint. Put it in where this one was. All right, now we'll put our screws back in right here on the front and back, and that will hold the lids on. And we've got the first three ready to go. We're at our friends Gene and Jody's house, and they have a colony of bees that have been living under their shed now for four years. So these are the genetics that we want. These girls are thriving out here, living on their own with no interference from a beekeeper. We put a swarm trap up here last year, didn't have any luck, but we just put a new one up this year. And so, fingers crossed, we're hoping to catch a swarm off this colony this year. <laughs> 